I have a feeling about the bed. How about a chant to reveal the past? Present yourself! You losing your edge? Through time and distance I now see. That's no ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed that he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. Fortune Heaton's ghost haunts the forge. I'm sure of it. For Nelly's sake, I hope not. Here, you know. Come back and help me! Holy Mary, 
Come out. To safe. Uh, are they... are they gone? Oh, thank you. Whoever you may be. For whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir. And so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the manager. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am, was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. The forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and... <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. An echo whispering to me. Ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads.
Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. Is that? Yes. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then, let's trigger the trap.
Right. Not the business. have to hit harder than that. Watch out! Spectre position! Die, you bastard! You're done! I knew it! That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. Uh, I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce! <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? We should talk to his ghost. I must summon you. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name. 
All mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pried from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. In fairness, I've heard of worse murders. Nellie and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. Piss off, Heaton. And no more scheming.
Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. I think Fortune's ghost is here. You should Let's end something. this now. I would... Hush! Someone's coming. Vanisha! You're back! Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time?
Nellie Heaton, you murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight! Murderer! Ouch! <laughs> 